Hey everyone, Josh here with Jurassic Impact, bringing you guys another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we actually got a pleasant surprise here from Global. Yes, after maintenance, I actually kind of seen this break before. I kind of passed out, but then, well, I passed out, So, but I woke up. And I was like, the first thing I have to do today is actually make a video discussing this because it's kind of a, a pleasant surprise. Not only did we get the Dragon Ball Fusion banner, okay, we also got a Rising Dragon Carnival with uh, double uh, SSR rates, a guaranteed SR hire. So for those of you who are really lacking a lot of maybe key units um, that are kind of like older or whatever, there's definitely a good opportunity to do that, as well as if you guys are a collector and you want to get a bunch of SRs, or maybe there's a few SRs that you may want to max out just for whatever reason, just because you may like to run challenge videos and stuff like that. Again, the Rising Dragon Carnival is here, so that's going to be really good there for that. We also got the uh, Dragon Ball Fusions, uh, the Fused World, where we get the free SSR as a gift, as well as it's a little, uh, kind of like a little story event. Um, it's, I think it's only like one or two stages. I know it ain't really much to do there, but who cares about that? What we're here to talk about is this. The Hidden Potential event has finally started. Yes, they finally unlocked the dupe system completely. And now we're going to start being able to get Hidden Potential orbs for physical, strength, intelligence, tech, AGL, and I am hype. So that's a, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um... I think I already collected my gift. Yes, I did. I'll show you what character we actually got here. Um, I just had a, I just completely had a, a brain malfunction. Nothing was clicking upstairs. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to see. I'm not too sure. Oh, there he is. Right here he is. So that is our free SSR that we got right there. Uh, Tekka. So, hey, I mean, it's a free SSR. Uh, I didn't know if we were, we were going to get it on Global, and we did. So, that's pretty cool. So, there he is. He's not really the greatest thing in the world. Um, he's not good at all, actually. But, hey, it's a free SSR. For collection purposes, hey, we'll take it, right? We will take it. But, um, the big thing here is the actual hidden potential system. It's finally, finally here. And I'm not even too sure how many orbs they actually gave us. Let me actually double check. Let me see if we got any orbs at all. I know we got a free few. Uh, we got a few free orbs in our uh, gift box. It wasn't really much of anything though. Let's go ahead and check out our items here. Potential orbs. Okay, yeah. So as you can see, we don't really have a lot to work with starting out. But hey, it's a good start. I mean, those will get you. I think possibly 25 30 percent let's actually find out what that will actually do for us here let's go ahead and go to in a potential um let's first grab um super vegeto uh super vegeto where you at my boy actually no we'll we'll do goku black we'll do goku black just because you know he's the new good card here on global so we'll go ahead and do him first um i'm on pc so this is a little a little hard to do this thing here. Okay, there we go. So now, if you guys are unfamiliar with the dupe system, you have four full paths to go on. You have top left, top right, bottom left, top, uh, bottom right. Now, guys, the bottom right is the hardest one to fill out. And the reason for that is the bottom right does require your SA to be above one to even start the path. And you have to go as far as I do believe SA, uh, you know, super attack seven, I do believe, to actually be able to finish it, even if you have four dupes un unlocked. And a lot of you are thinking, what are what are the dupes for exactly? Well, if you follow along the paths here, you'll notice eventually you'll come to one of these bad boys right here. This right there. This is basically a marker on the map that's locked. And to unlock it, you need an actual dupe of Goku Black. His uh, base SSR dupe. And we'll, we'll come back to that in a minute of, you know, what I mean by the base SSR dupe. Because currently, my Goku Black is Doken Awakened. So, for example, if I wanted to use one of my dupes and unlock this path, 
I actually have to reverse Doke and Awaken my Goku Black. And a lot of you are thinking, why would I do that? Because then I'd have to redo all my, I have to do all my Awakening medals and everything else. And well, the cool thing is when you reverse Doke and Awaken, it doesn't do anything like that. You reverse him pretty much temporarily. And then you re in him when you're done feeding in your dupes to unlock these paths. And then when it re and awakens him for you, it automatically just puts you back where you were before. You don't lose any of your Awakening Medals, so you do not have to farm the maps again. You know, the events for your Awakening Medals, you don't have to do that again at all. The reverse feature just kind of lets you, like, take a step back in time temporarily, and then lets you just go right back to where you were, no problem. And the importance of unlocking a dupe is it lets you complete uh, higher tiers, really, of the dupe system, which allows you to get, let me just find one for example here. Yeah, you see these stars here that are locked? Some of these have special things in them, like uh, higher critical attack chance, um, dodging chance, uh, as well as additional super attack, stuff like that that you can enhance uh, you know further along in the dupe system very very important now most of these stars you're gonna find are usually you know there's gonna, usually gonna be three or four in the bottom right path so that's usually the path that you want to go if you really really want to get your characters far along in the dupe system but then again some of these paths focus more on healing which is this right here potential skill recovery boost some of them focus on uh, combo attack. Um, some of them focus on critical hit. Uh, there's evasion, which of course is dodge. You have uh, attack boost. And you have uh, defensive boost. And the last but not least, you have attack boost. So there's a, key, there's a few key things there. And judging by how you want to build your character... This is where the game becomes more of an RPG. It kind of allows you to, you know, to uh, make your characters different than everybody else's in the game, because not everybody's going to fo uh, follow the same suit in the dupe system. Yes, if everybody has all four paths unlocked and they go full 100% in the dupe system, which you can see your percentage right up here in the top left, that does not mean your character is going to be the same as somebody else's, because these stars right here. They give you options. Sometimes you got between two options. Sometimes you got three options, uh, and you can choose. And judging by what all you really work for, you know, work for t towards getting, your character is going to be different from somebody else. So somebody might actually focus on critical, trying to get the critical really, really high. Uh, somebody might be focusing on trying to get their dodge really, really high. Some people might be focusing on trying to get their uh, combo attack really, really high. Um, so. Because of that, everybody's characters are going to end up being a little bit different than the others, which is really cool because now it gives everybody like a little bit of uniqueness to the game, which is fantastic. But let's go ahead and see exactly with what they gave us to start with, how far we can go. Now, of course, my Goku Black does not have any dupes at all. And the way I like to do it is let's just quickly see what's on the map here. Let me just zoom out here a bit. Again, this is a little harder to do on PC because I can't just pinch the screen, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not letting me do it. It's being a pain in my ass right now. Just because I'm trying to show you guys. Okay, so this is good enough. Um, as you guys can see, we have uh, attack up. We have defense up. We have attack boost. Uh, we got a uh, chance of double, you know, a uh, second attack, which... Those chances of second attacks are really, really good because event, you know, because those could potentially be a second super attack, not just a second attack, but a second super attack, which would be really, really clutch. So if I wanted to go to the top, if I really wanted to go up here to the top left path right now, it appears that it's going to be more or less uh, attack increase. You know, this right here, it's going to be attack boost. And there's quite a bit of defense boost as well. So um, if I'm looking to make my character have, I don't know, uh, higher, really just higher brawl, brawl uh, attack, you know, base attack, and higher base defense, I could definitely go, you know, go for this top left, or the, yeah, the top left path. Um, 
while as the bottom left one focuses um, a little bit more on defense and HP recovery. And the bottom right one, of course, is going to focus... Well, the bottom right ones, actually, it looks like just about a little bit of everything. It looks about kind of even out, but it has four of those lock star pass, which could give you, you know, a lot of other options like... Um, like double attack chance critical stuff like that so the bottom right path is definitely you know the uh, one to really make sure that you try to fill out but it's also the hardest because like I said your um, super attack needs to be higher than one just to get it started and I do believe it goes clear to like super attack seven before you can actually fill out the whole thing possibly super attack eight but you also need a dupe to unlock him to even get any of these star pass now remember all the star pass are always locked you're not going to get a, a star path unless you have at least one dupe so there is that to think about and then the top right um, again it's kind of just like a mixture but not only are you looking for the actual uh, these little icons here that tells you what is on the path you also have these uh, these here uh, like for example the red ones they give you an attack boost okay so we're not going to actually do that yet. The ones that have kind of like uh, like a shield or like a like a bullet vest or whatever, bulletproof vest or whatever, those are for defense. And, of course, the hearts are HP. So you can also kind of look on the map and see how many of those are here. So actually, if you really, really look, there's a lot of attack orbs, you know, to get here in the top right path. And there's a little more even distribution here on the top left. So there's also that to look forward to. This one has a lot more defense on the bottom left path, and the bottom right path is, it looks kind of attack and defense heavy. So there's like a lot of things to really look forward to when you're doing your, uh, your you know, choosing what path you want to focus on first, especially when getting orbs isn't the easiest thing in the world. Um, they give us a good bit at the beginning, it seems, which, which I'm actually kind of happy for. Um, but after you've used them all up, it's you can still get them every week, a little bit here and there, because every day they would have a new uh, type typing. Um, except for I do believe on Saturdays on Global we will have LR Goku, so then we don't really have the opportunity to do it then. So I don't really know how they're going to do that, opposed to how they did it on J JP. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things to look forward to. It's like, not only are you looking at the actual ability icons of what you're wanting to focus on, you also kind of got to look at the actual little orbs themselves on the actual path uh, and kind of choose, like, do you want to focus on health? Do you want to focus on attack, defense? What is your main priority for whatever unit you're working with? So, for example, with Goku Black, him being a physical unit, him being a pretty heavy hitter, and the fact that he is now kind of self-efficient on global opposed to his JP counterpart. I mean, what I would really like to focus on is his additional super attack first. For me personally, you guys may want to work on something different. But because of that, when I look at the actual uh, pass here and see what I actually have to use, this is the only one I do believe we can get right now that's an additional super attack. That does, you know, a chance at additional super attack or a regular attack, of course. Uh, that does not require a path to be open. So if you do a quick look around, you'll notice, well, you're right. You can't go anywhere else on the path to do that right now. So, of course, my personal, um, you know, my personal thing that I want to work on first is getting that uh, additional super attack chance, which I do believe when you actually get that one, it'll be plus five. I do believe one, that one's plus 5. If it's like JP, I believe that one's going to actually be a plus 5. The higher the number, the better the chance of it happening. I think you can go clear up to plus 20. I think plus 20 is the max, I think. I could be a little mistaken on that. So let's actually work on that path. So let's start here. All right, so now it's going to make you, it's going to require you to have orbs. Now, there's different levels of orbs. There's like, there's little orbs, then there's bigger orbs, bigger orbs than that, and then the biggest orb. I do believe they go from like the little ones and then they go like bronze, silver, gold or something like that. Uh, and, and again, we're going to get HP plus 20. It requires the five small little orbs and we're going to, we got 700 left. So we're going to see how high of a percentage we can go before we're actually unable to do any more. And again, I'm sorry if it was, was slow. So this is going to be attack plus 10. 
don't know why it's uh, now loading, why I keep doing it. It's being very slow right now, driving me crazy. So now it's asking me to use the uh, bigger orbs, I do believe. Uh, or I'm sorry, no, it's the same orbs. It's just it was giving me a notification because I was using a different typing because I, I did HP, I did attack, and now we're doing defense. So we just gave a little bit to uh, Goku Black of HP, attack, and defense. So far, he's got plus 20, plus 10, and plus 20. Now remember, guys, when your dupe system numbers up here update, it will not update your base stats. If you want to see what your base stats look like, just simply um, open up your character's uh, card art, and then you can see the actual changes here. So you can already see, you know, there's already plus 20 HP. And then if you click on any of these tabs here, you'll actually see exactly what it's being uh, filled. And if you click to the touch here, you can actually see here hidden potential skills and what skills you have them at, and it'll even tell you what level they are. So when you're looking for a friend, you can when you go to look for a friend lead, you can actually look at all this information on their units and pick the ones that fit what you need the most, which is really, really cool here about the dupe system. So let's just keep going here. Hopefully it quits saying now loading, because this is going to get irritating. It shouldn't say now loading. Ugh. Um, definitely my internet is fucking fast, so... I don't know what's going down here with this uh, now loading thing, but it's it's neither here nor there. So we'll try to just get through it here, so I do apologize. <sighs> I just wanted to make sure I get this video out today. Um, my next video I'm going to be bringing you guys is uh, Dual Links talking about the new sale that's going on. Uh, for those of you who missed it, but it ain't really nothing really big going on there. So now this one's actually going to require us to use a little bit of every dual orb uh, I kinda went past it without actually explaining so next time I, gr I find one of those uh, skills to actually obtain we'll actually stop, uh, stop for a second and I'll explain the, the orbs again so and do you remember the orbs the amount of orbs that you have to use for each of these on screen things on these paths will become more and more expensive the further you get in the path so don't expect it to just be a cheap little ride because it will eventually, especially when you start getting to like attack plus 70 and stuff like that, um, it gets really, really expensive. So make sure that you're aware of that. So currently, already down to 625 of the 700 little orbs that they gave us for free. Now, when you get so far uh, in a dupe system, especially for uh, a certain type, they will give you like mission rewards, which will give you, will reward you with a little bit more orbs. So you know, don't think that they're completely ignoring you. Uh, if you do focus on getting one person to like max in the dupe system, they will reward you with some orbs. Um, and they do that, I think, for every typing. Plus, they also do that uh, just for uh, you know a basic number to reach. Like, I think if I actually, um, for example, I think one of the missions, if you actually reach, like, HP or attack or defense plus 3,000, I believe that was a mission on JP. Um, they rewarded you with uh, stuff like that. So they do have mission rewards that come with this uh, hidden potential system, which is really not really nice. So we're already down to 570. Um, I said that I'm hoping that we could get Goku Black to around 30%. Uh, we'll see what happens here. So... This is what I meant. You got the little orbs, the medium orbs, and the big orbs. 560 left, 390 of those left, and only 29 of these left. The big ones are, you know, they don't give you too much. They're kind of in short supply, but you're not going to use them nearly as much as you use the other orbs. So it's not completely a bad thing. But let's go ahead. We get our uh, defensive boost up to level 1. And as you guys can see, we have levels up here. And again, I think level 20 was max, I think. I could be wrong on that, but I think the uh, I think the levels were mag are max at twenty. I think, but as you guys can see, we're already starting. I mean, it, it's a, it's a slow process. Yes, it is, but it's well worth it in the end. Uh, you're you'll see the difference in your character. It it's definitely definitely a big improvement, and you will notice, especially when you start getting around um, like 35, 40, 50 percent in the dupe system, you will notice the difference in your character. He will hit harder. He will defend better. He will have more life. Uh, life points. He will even recover some life points, which is cool. What you can literally give almost everyone in this in this game now, that's at least a UR or higher. The ability to um, 
kind of have like a like a mini a mini uh, Buhan passive where you actually just gain HP because this bad boy here uh, recovery boost slightly raises the amount of HP recovered when obtaining a key sphere that matches a character's type. The effect increases along with the skill level. So everyone kind of gets like a little mini Buhan LP boost there, which is really really cool. So people like um i guess for example if like buhan if you gave buhan that skill and like got it maxed out for example buhan's really really gonna be uh giving you hp back because now his he's gonna have his own uh i think he gives you like 5k hp back for each orb that he obtains uh intelligence orb i do believe and imagine this dupe system stacking on top of that. So, yeah, Buhan ability becomes even better with the dupe system, which is really, really, really cool. So, I do apologize for the now loading thing. I don't know why it's doing that. It should just be like boom, 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 but I don't know. I, I don't know. But we're currently, we got Goku Black up to 8% here. Like I said, my goal was to get him at least around 30%. Now, to give you guys a rough estimate of how high you can get him in the dupe system without any dupes, 50%. I think 50 to 55% is about as high as you're going to get your uh, characters without any dupes. So since I don't have any dupes of Goku Black, I'm probably going to get him max if I have enough, uh, when I get enough physical orbs, of course. I think I can get him to 50-55%. That is the max you can actually get your character in the dupe system without any um, any dupe pass unlocked but getting one or two dupes will make a huge difference because like I said then you get to unlock pass to those star pass and those usually give you some awesome uh, level boost to uh, your skills that you can unlock here in the dupe system so this one's gonna cost 3 plus times 25 and times 50 but you get combo attack level 5 so yes I was right you will get plus 5 on this one so that's why it's a little more costly than the other skills were that we currently got previously. But, you know, we're trucking along here. We got him up to 10%. I, st I think that we may honestly be able to hit him up for 30% or maybe a little higher. I don't know. I mean, we're at 11% now. As you can see, his HP is plus 250. His attack is plus 230. And defense is plus t uh, 300. Now, of course, I need to go through and do this again with Super Vegito. Because he's probably like the main squeeze of all of my, you know, of all of my units right now. That's that needs to be put through the dupe system more than anyone else. Is definitely Super Vegito. Uh, I would like to get my Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken through there too, because his max is S, his his uh, SA is max as well. So I'd have a pretty 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 solid uh, start to a nice dupe system AGL team. But unfortunately, they don't give us enough AGL uh, orbs to probably run them both through there. So. My main priority for AGL is definitely going to be Super Vegito. Now my strength type, uh, I may not even do anything with my strength types yet. Just because of the fact that I'm lacking Gogeta and Omega. And I'm hoping to get one of them in the uh, ticket banner. And that's another thing they gave us today that I actually forgot to talk about. We got the tickets for the ticket banner today. I only got 41 because I've literally only been playing on this account on and off for a while. Because I was like mainly JP for the longest time. Most of you guys know that. So, because of that, I'm actually going to work on the top right now. Um, but, so most of you guys know that. Uh, I think Fort said he had, like, th over 300, 400. So, I mean, he his chances of pulling something are pretty good. And I'm almost assuming, I'm just assuming here, I'm assuming Living Ichigo probably has a shit ton of tickets for the ticket banner. Uh, I can only imagine what he's got. So, that he's probably going to have a fucking a mini uh, arc of sorts uh, for his summings for that like that's gonna be crazy but so I don't know what D free I don't know if D free has a mini or a rhyme or nano or any of those guys I don't really know what they all invested into their globals I know they've invested a bunch of JP so I guess we'll see they might already have videos up talking about it I have no idea <laughs> uh, since I actually was really tired when this finally dropped I didn't unfortunately get it out to you guys as soon as I usually like to get out new news Especially with Duel Links. But Duel Links, I knew I could wait till later because there wasn't really anything amazing to talk about with Duel Links. So I wasn't really too concerned about getting anything out with that, you know, right away. 
But so we're just trucking along here through the dupe system. I'm only going to do Goku Black. I'm not going to do anybody else here on you know on video because I don't really want it to take too long. And I'm trying to make it not quite as boring watching me do this because I'm trying to explain as much as I can about it. But yeah, guys, we already got our tickets today. Uh, that's going to be for our April 2nd, April 2nd, April 3rd ticket banner that's going to be dropping, which a lot of people dub as the God banner because it has literally like every God in it, all the mono God leads. And then sometime down the road, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, maybe a month later, uh, we're expected to get Super Saiyan Blue uh, um, Vegito, and we're expected to get the Rose banner. So those are coming out. So guys, I would recommend saving any stones you have laying around for that. I would, you know, you, you're going to use your tickets for the God banner, but uh, even after that, it does go, I think it converts from a ticket banner after you're done through tickets to an a actual stone banner. You know, you, then you can use your dragon stone. So, but I would say if you're looking to really get a new AGL unit, which is going to be the next big AGL unit to come to the game, which is going to be Rose, then I'd probably save for Rose. Um, he will, he should have. I don't know if he's going to have Goku Black in that banner or not, but he may, he may or not. I don't know what Global's going to do with that. But if you guys are also looking for an amazing physical unit, or in even the uh, new introduction really to hero and villain teams now, then you're definitely going to want to wait to pull for Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and the Rose Banners, because those are two really, really amazing units. For those of you who don't, don't play JP or don't really keep up with the Reddit or any of the news um, from JP, then a lot of you may not know Super Saiyan Blue Vegito is coming out or Rose. So I'm telling you guys now, I mean, if you're really looking for two new amazing units, two new god leaders of sorts, because they technically are god leaders of their respectful teams, you know, hero team, villain team. Um, they're also amazing support units as well for AGL and physical. So definitely keep that in mind if you're wanting to, you know, get your hands on one of those two amazing units or both if you have the stones in the luck. And you may want to just chill and wait till those banners actually drop. They should drop sometime in April, though. I mean, that's the expected due date. So, just to give you guys a little uh, time frame to work with there. So, we're at 18%. Um, I haven't even been paying attention to how many orbs we have left. So, we're not actually going to make it to the expected 30 like I thought. So, it appears you're only going to make it to about 20%. Not even quite 20 no, um, I probably could have got a little bit further if I didn't go as far on each little, like if I just went a little bit into each, uh, into each path where they start, where they're only costing like, you know, like five instead of 10. But even then, I don't think I still would have made it too far, but I got to 19%. I wanted 30. Um, like I said, those orbs, they go fast. They go fast. But as you can see, the new stats here for Goku Black, he's now got 10,781 HP. Uh, almost 10,200 attack and almost 4,900 defense, as well as he's uh, he's got these several skill levels uh, unlocked as well. So not too bad, but my main focus again was getting this, so we have at least a chance of getting a uh, double super attack or at least a second attack in general. But that's pretty much it for the dupe system. I mean, it's pretty cool. Now, you, this is the only other feature that we have not talked about yet, the reverse system. I kind of touched on this a little bit ago. But basically what the reverse system does is it shows you, you can reverse Doken Awaken characters. As you can see, I only have four characters Doken Awaken currently on this account. So I got Black, I got Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken Goku, I got Intelligence, uh, Gohan, and I got Majin Vegeta. Now what's really cool is you can actually, like, for example, I can click uh, Goku Black, and I can undoken Awaken him. Uh, it requires one of these hourglass things. It'll just put him back to his UR form fully max you are and it keeps the super attacks and you know it you don't lose any of your super attacks or nothing like that so do not worry so when you reverse him it'll take him back to a UR right and then when you're done feeding dupes into him and unlocking his pass you can reverse token awaken him and as you can see there's no character reverse but basically it'll uh, put my Goku black from being undoken to being dokened again and that's all it does. I mean, it, it doesn't, you know, you're not losing anything. So don't worry. You won't lose any of your medals or nothing like that. Everything is still there. It's just, it's a temporary undoken awaken. And then you can re-doken awaken him. No problem. It's no big deal. But that's how you feed your characters into the dupe system. We did a complete a mission here. Let's see what it is really, really fast. And then we'll go take a look at the banners. And then we'll take a look at um, the new uh, events that are cur currently going on 
really really quick so they give us an incredible hourglass times one so they do give you one for free there uh, pretty early on like I said you'll probably get more if you complete the missions there is a ton of different missions that actually are associated with the dupe system so do not worry um, let's see here so let's go to events really quick well actually let's go to the drag let's go to the summoning banner um, so we have the Dragon Ball Fusions crossover summons and basically you get three summon availables to get a guaranteed SSR. So there is a GSSR banner technically for this for the first 150 stones that you put into it which is basically three multis and then after that it probably just goes to the basic, you know, pool rates. Um there's I mean there's some good cards in here but I'm not I mean I don't currently even have enough stones anyway cuz I'm mostly free to play uh, in most games, in total, free to play on Dokkan Battle. So for now, for now, I may change my mind when Rose and Black come out, or Rose and Super Vegito come out, but we'll see. But so those are some of the units here we got to work with. Um, I'm not really going to go over them all because you guys can, you know, of course, you can jump in here and look at these yourself. But I think the biggest thing people are going for, from what I was hearing, is a lot of people want Janembu. Uh, I've seen people want bu uh, Bullpan. Uh, what's another one? And Karoli. I think those were the big three that people were really aiming for in this banner. But even if I wanted to put stones, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be pulling on this because I'd be waste I'd be saving all my stones for Super Saiyan Blue, Vegito, and Rose. That'd be what my personal opinion would be. But if you guys want something for collection purposes, definitely take them because I will tell you right now, none of these units are going to really be viable very very soon. Like they may be cool to play around with for like a week or two, but literally. These units will be completely outdated very, very soon in the game. But they're really cool to have for collector's items. So if you guys are a collector and you got the, st the stones to spare, you know, go for it. We also got the Rising Dragon Carnival, like I, I stated when we first started. And of course, as you can see, you also have the, the normal version of the banner, the non-GSSR. So we got our Scouter here. Uh, this currently has... Um, Super Saiyan Goku GT AGL. We have Majub, which Majub becomes very, very good. Very uh, um, right now, like currently, JP he's got a Dokken Awakening, and his Dokken Awakening is really, really good, especially for a Mono Strength team uh, because of well, Super Saiyan 4 Goku being the new lead, and they sharing the GT link. Plus, he it gets a really, really good passive, so that's pretty cool. Um, we got another Xeno Trunks. Um, got Majin Vegeta in here. We have Intelligence Turles. We have uh, Tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku, we have Super Saiyan 2 Goku AGL, and we have Super Saiyan 2 Goku Physical, uh, Strength Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, Intelligence Super Saiyan Gohan Teen, and Future Gohan. So, that's the units there, uh, well the banner ones, there's probably a ton in there, we're not going to really look into it, but if you guys are just lacking SSRs and you want a good chance to get a bunch of them, there you go, otherwise I'd just stay away from it. And then, of course, we still have all this shit going on here. So, let's do one last thing before we get out of here. Because the video is already over 30 minutes long. Way longer than I wanted it to be. But I wanted to make sure that I kind of went over everything I could think of to go over all in one video. So, we have the Fused World Dragon Ball Heroes. Or, Dragon Ball Fusions event. Sorry, not Dragon Ball Heroes. That may be an event we get at some point, but I don't know. But here, we get to play around with the AGL, the tech... The intelligence, the strength, and the physical. Now, guys, don't get too excited. They don't usually have all five of these in, at one time. Most of the time, they're only going to have one of these a day. For example, like a Monday could be AGL, Tuesday could be intelligence, and so on and so forth. And Saturday would be, of course, reserved for LR Goku event. But uh, basically, when you go in here and do these, there will be three, three, three people you can take on. With three different focuses. If you take on like the first boss, the first boss is going to drop you the smaller orbs. So if you're in big need of those, you'd attack the first boss. If you need the medium orbs, you attack the second boss. If you need the large orbs, you attack the third boss. Um, that's pretty much what you do. Uh, plus there's also dual... You know like the same situation when you collect gems on the maps in story? It's the same situation if you're trying to uh, collect um, hidden potential orbs on the map as well. It's like the same process. We could probably do one really, really quickly just to kind of, you know, showcase real quick. But this is the the, the Fuse World Dragon Ball Fusions uh, banner. Grab the chance to recruit SSR Tekka and SSR Pinich or P Pinich or Pinich. I don't know how you guys wanted me to say it, but there it is. Um, 
basically Panish or Panish is an SSR AGL unit and of course our free physical unit of Tekka which we've already received him um, and then you of course can get the medals to actually Doken Awaken Bullpan uh, Pandel Corali and I do believe there's only three that Doken Awaken yes so that's pretty much really all there is there on that banner I mean I don't even think it's longer than I think it's only like one stage maybe a little bit more than that actually let me go double check really quickly so Let's see here. So, it may actually only be one stage. I don't recall right off the bat, because it's been a while since this was in JP. It may only be one stage, maybe more than one. I don't know. But we're not going to really play it here, because it would just be, you know, waste of time here uh, on the video. But we will quickly jump into, we'll do the tech one. All right, so, or the strength one, rather. So, we'll jump in here and do the strength one really quick. Uh, usually you can do these five times a day, so I'm pretty sure they're going to let us do these five times a day, which is going to be helpful because then I can do the physical one five times, and then maybe I can uh, potentially get physical Goku Black to possibly a little higher percentage today before the day is uh, wrapped up. Now, one thing to remember, these will kill your stamina because you're going to be doing this five times a day times five. So if you're wanting to do all of these today, time you know, five times your maximum amount, be it's going to cost you a bit, but you really want to do these though. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. It's going to really, it's really going to eat your stamina, but you know you want to do it because it's really going to make your characters really, really good. So it's like, you know, <laughs> it, it's, it'll get you. It'll get you. So I'm trying to look for my AGL team. There's my AGL team. Okay. So I cannot wait till the God Banner drops because I still have not been able to even had the chance to Doken Awaken my God Tanks, my Super Vegito, um, my Buhan, so I'm de or even my Brawly that I just recently got since they didn't give us the Brawl event. So as you can see, there's three paths here to take, uh, three bosses, and he, uh, it should be the first boss should give you the little orbs, second boss gives you uh, medium orbs, and the third boss will give you the big orbs. Now you could still get all variations of those orbs in a in a uh, varying amount by you know getting these here on the map these little dual orb areas on the map as you can see there's one two three four five of them so if we're wanting the most dual orbs out of this particular uh series uh we'd probably want to go through zarbon which is is you know it's fine we're just doing this for demonstration purposes anyway you guys can really take whatever route that you want to take depending on what your absolute priority is and this is only going to drop EGL, uh, of course, so keep that in mind. We'll go ahead and do that, I guess. That'll work. Um, see, not being Doken Awakened, I'm not getting any links here with Gohan, unfortunately. So that's not a good thing. Uh, hopefully I can get a special off here. Yeah. Okay, so why not? And we may even get a special off here with Super Vegito on Doken. So let's see how we do here. Now we take out Zarbon. He's going to drop the orbs, and then we can get some more... Uh, on the actual map and then again guys you can come through here like five times a day so that's gonna be pretty cool now I don't I didn't check to see how long they're gonna have all five uh, types up at once but usually you only have one per day one type a day and then of course you can do it five times a day so it's not too bad at all so we may actually just defeat him here alright so now we just gotta finish off Zarbon I'm um, hoping, no, actually, let's do it this way. Ah, it wouldn't let me switch for a minute. So let's just do this real quick, finish them off, get our dwarves, finish up the map, and then move on our merry little way here and wrap up this video. It's already been way longer than I wanted it to be, but I, tr I wanted to make sure that I discussed everything I could possibly think of to discuss for you guys. So hopefully it's been helpful that's why i've muted the volume of the game and everything i wanted to make sure that you guys are completely focused on what i'm saying that way you know if you miss anything hopefully you can just go back in the video you know and double check because i tried to explain everything as best as i possibly can i may have missed something here or there hopefully i didn't but i may have there's a pretty high chance i might have missed at least one thing or two but i tried to you know explain it as best i could so we're actually going to miss that one unfortunately so that sucks. That's tartar sauce, as uh, um, Patrick would say. All right, let's see what we got here. Cause I wasn't even paying attention to what we, what all the drops were. So we got a mission complete, of course, for doing that for the first time. 
Dragonstone, I'll take it. So we got a uh, we got 60 of the medium ones. We didn't get any of the big, big ones here, but we did get 36 little ones on 150 little ones, 60 and 18. So we got a, a hefty little amount of strength orbs there, which ain't bad. And that's for one run. Again, you guys can do this run five times a day. I do believe they're allowing us to do it five times, just like they did on JP. Um, Let's see. I don't know, it didn't, doesn't say, I don't think, but I'm pretty sure they let you do it five times a day. Um, otherwise, just keep doing it until it's uh, unhighlighted and it won't let you go back in. Um, also, one thing I did forget to mention, the hidden potential system is only, uh, only active. I'm talking about this system here, the hidden potential system and the reverse system. They're only allowing you to go into them if you're at least rank 50 in the game and you've, com and you've uh, completed uh, stage 2. Of Epic Showdown, which has been that easy event that's been there since the beginning of time for Dogon Battle, it seems. So, just a quick little bit of information I did forget to mention, and I just was reminded when I actually read uh, up on that e on that uh, stage event. So, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me here. Jurassic Impact is out. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I was very helpful and educational. Um, to the best of my ability, and you guys kind of got a good idea of how the do system works. Uh, you guys are pleasantly. Uh, um, I'm sorry, um, if we're going by JP standards, we're actually getting this early. Even though they could have probably gave this a week ago, we're still getting it much early, earlier than JP did. So be half, happy, I guess, in that regard that we're, JP actually uh, got the dupe system a little later and then Global did, actually, if you want to compare, you know, when the ticket banner dropped for Glo for JP compared to Global and when we got the dupe system in comparison. So, yeah, Global's actually doing really, really good now. I'm actually excited there's going to be lots of new content to come around on the channel here. Thanks to Global finally, you know, giving us some new shit finally. The ticket banner is around the corner. So lots of fun stuff here to hopefully do here on the channel. And guys, as always, I will catch you in the next one. And be sure to subscribe if you're new. Peace.